Now at 7.30, a, another barn fire this morning, this time in Bourbon County. Firefighters are now investigating. Attorney General Jack Conway is set to make a big announcement in Frankfurt regarding November's governor's race. And a Lexington organization will begin repairs today after an outpouring of generosity from the community. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us here on this Sunday. I'm Whitney Wetzel. And I'm Mark Barber. Waking up to a little bit of a chilly morning here, but after days and days yeah. of bone chillingly cold, this doesn't feel too bad, does it? It does. It, it certainly feels a lot better than what it has been the past couple of days. At least we're not back down there in the single digits. Looks like we're finally starting to warm up, but we'll check in with WKYT's Mike Linden to see how far these temperatures might rise. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Mark and Whitney. There's a reason for this improvement to the temperatures, that being the fact that we're looking at active weather a little bit later this afternoon but right now not any single digits out there and the wind chill is still there but not nearly as bad as it's been a few spots already at that freezing mark how about Pulaski County 32 Madison County right on that mark as well but if we look to defender this morning not seeing anything right now but that will change into our afternoon looking at plenty of winter weather on its way as we quickly become rather overcast and in anticipation of that there are already some weather advisories in place the first being this blue color that being a winter weather advisory over southern Indiana and then over southern Ohio right on that Kentucky line, a freezing rain advisory. So active weather is on its way, which is the reason for those warmer temperatures. But I'll show you how it will affect us coming up as we head into the work week. Thanks, Mike. Good to see that temperature, that thermometer rising a little bit. Yeah. Well, new this morning, Lexington and Bourbon County firefighters have been fighting a massive barn fire near the county line. Yeah, and that fire killed multiple thoroughbreds and destroyed the barn. Now the Bourbon County fire chief says an investigation is underway. The BKYT's Hillary Thornton is live at the scene this morning with the latest information. Good morning, Hillary. Good morning, Whitney and Mark. That's right, that fire investigation is underway here at the barn in Bourbon County, just off of Paris Pike, after it went up in flames last night, killing several animals. Fire crews from both Bourbon and Fayette counties responded to the fire just before midnight. Fire crews then rushed to the scene, but say unfortunately there were some thoroughbred horses inside that did not make it out. Bourbon County fire officials say a state trooper spotted the fire and was able to alert residents nearby. Of course, we got three residents here really close. Uh, they were home at the time, uh, but was unaware the fire was occurring, and the trooper uh, alerted them of once he arrived here on the scene. Now, I just spoke with the owner of those horses, and he said he ra raised the three thoroughbreds and was planning to enter them in Keeneland's January sale, which is set to start tomorrow. Now, fire officials say investigators will be out here all day today as well as tomorrow trying to figure out what exactly caused this fire. Live in Bourbon County, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. Hillary, thank you. And we have breaking news out of Rowan County now. The coroner has been called out to the scene. Uh uh, just south of Moorhead. It happened just before 7.30 this morning on Christie Creek Road in Moorhead. According to dispatch, two vehicles were involved in an accident there. One person is dead and two others are being transported to the hospital with unknown injuries. Dispatchers say Christie Creek Road is currently shut down in both lanes while crews work to clear up that scene. We will continue to track this developing story and we'll have the latest online at WKYT.com and later on WKYT News at 6. Meanwhile, one man is behind bars and another is in the hospital after an argument turned violent in Boyle County. Police say a nephew and his uncle got into a fight inside of a home on York Lane in Junction City. We're told Brandon Hobbs went outside to get a taser and started tasing his uncle, Robert Hobbs. Police tell us Robert then grabbed a steak knife and stabbed his nephew in the chest multiple times. Crews flew Brandon Hobbs to UK Hospital. Robert Hobbs is in the Boyle County Detention Center. He's charged with assault. This morning, Lexington police are trying to track down three teenagers who they say robbed a restaurant at gunpoint. Police tell us the teens walked into the Sonic on New Circle Road around 8 last night and demanded cash from the clerk. We're told the witness saw them get into a dark colored Saturn. Police say a clerk tried to follow them, so the teens assaulted him. We're told the clerk was not seriously hurt. We're tracking the investigation into a string of crimes in southern Kentucky. Deputies in Laurel County have arrested Daniel Witt and Dylan Sutherland in connection to a series of utility thefts. 
They believe the two men stole from trailers and homes and businesses back in December. Most of the trailers are, with, are worth between $1,500 to $3,000. Both men are charged with receiving stolen property. A man indicted for a deadly shooting almost two years ago is set to be back in court tomorrow. Lexington police say Devontae Webb fired shots inside of a bowling alley on New Circle Road. That happened back in April of 2013. Stephen Reynolds died in that shooting. Webb was indicted in August of that year and police arrested him that June. A Kentucky man now faces charges after police uncovered new evidence in a rape case. 29-year-old John Wayne Croft is charged in a 2007 rape case in Washington state. Police say they collected forensic evidence in that case but never sent it to the crime lab. Officers learned of the oversight last summer after assigning a new investigator. Croft, who's from Frankfurt, was extradited to Washington on Thursday. Seven years ago, he told investigators that he was not guilty. Attorney General Jack Conway is expected to announce his candidacy for governor tomorrow. Conway and his running mate, State Representative Sandy Overly, say they will announce that they're running tomorrow morning. Conway has served as a Commonwealth's attorney since 2008. Back in 2010, he lost the race for Senate against Rand Paul. Overly is currently the Democratic caucus chair for the Kentucky House. Major party candidates have until January 27th to apply for the 2015 governor's race. Lexington's new chief of police will be sworn in tomorrow. Former assistant chief of police Mark Barnard is set to be sworn in tomorrow morning at police headquarters. Lexington Mayor Jim Gray appointed Barnard the chief of police late last month. Barnard says a key to police in the community effectively is to be in touch with the people. He's taking over for Ronnie Baston, who is resigning to become the city's public safety commissioner. We have a traffic alert to pass along this morning. The state is rescheduling work on New Circle Road between Versailles and Leestown Roads. The left lane of the inner loop will be closed from 7 o'clock Sunday night until 5 Monday morning. The entire road there will close for 30-minute intervals. The state is asking drivers to avoid the area if you can. It's all part of the project to widen New Circle Road. Thanks to an outpouring of generosity from the community, today a Lexington organization will get back to help Helping others. Thursday, we told you how the Lexington Rescue Mission had to close its doors after a sewer pipe broke there. The repairs are costing them $15,000, but the rescue mission says enough donors have now come forward to cover that cost. So for the community to give us the type of love and support that we're used to giving other people was just overwhelming. It just feels really good to know that the community is there for us when we need them, just as much as we're there for our clients when they need us. And they are set to begin repairing those pipes today, and they will reopen next Saturday. Good to see. Yeah, with the temperature still being around the freezing mark, a lot of people still needing shelter. Yeah, that's right. Well, it is 838, and coming up after the break, a video that's gone viral. We'll tell you the story behind a good Samaritan who pays it forward to a homeless Missouri man. That's ahead on WKYT This Morning. Not much going on on live first alert defender right now, but change is on the way both to the temperature as well as to what we're seeing on the radar. I'll show you what we anticipate into the new work week coming up.